When Abdul Rauf Khan's U.S.-born son became a teenager, he asked his father, a Pakistani immigrant, what have you done for this country? It has stuck with him ever since. For myself, I want to make sure I have a legacy for my own children you know, coming up behind me. They want to take this country as, as a blessing and say this, is, this country has given us a lot. We have to give back to the country and make sure we, we can secure that. And this is, should be our proud being Muslim living in America. Khan has made a living of going where natural disasters strike, whether Hurricane Harvey in Texas or Irma in his home state of Florida. Over the years, he says that providing direct relief and opening the doors of mosques in times of need has opened minds about what it means to be Muslim. They felt like this is what, like we felt we, when we go to church, we would go to synagogue. During and after Hurricane Irma, volunteers from the Islamic Circle of North America traveled from one affected area to another, removing limbs from fallen trees and helping to make affected locals' lives a bit easier. Aksachima says her faith and a desire to constantly give back are closely linked. Maybe if I help one person and someone sees me helping that person, they'll be like, hey, you know what? It felt nice to bring a smile on that person's face. I can help them too. It's that compassion that unites Muslim and non-Muslim volunteers. If it's moving a cup self, but you help it do something. So anything you help, you know in your heart you did something to help another person. As Florida begins the long process of rebuilding, Khan and his team plan to be there and help their neighbors every step of the way. Ramon Taylor, VOA News, Cooper City, Florida.